Hey everybody, I just wanted to ask you if you had a great Labor Day weekend. I hope you did. I had a great one. I enjoyed it very much. Got to see some fireworks. Uh, so life's good. Um, welcome to Tuesdays at 222. I uh, appreciate you being here. Um, I am the Director of Business Development at Reformation Productions. We are a full service marketing agency located right here in the beautiful downtown Buford, Georgia. So I had a few things on my mind uh, from last week. Uh, I asked you, what makes you different from your uh, competition? If you aren't different from your competition, then why are you in business, right? I mean, come on, let's be real with ourselves. So do you know who else is fishing in the pond that you're trying to fish in? See, I like to fish. And in this analogy today, the fisherman is the business, the fish are your customers, and the pond is your marketplace. Now, do you know who your direct competitors are? Think of a couple of your competitors. Do this little exercise with me. Just pick the one biggest competitor that you have. Now ask yourself, what is their brand? Do you know what their brand is? Why do you think their customers buy from them? What messages are they sending to their customers and how are they getting that message across to them? Of course, you may not know all of their marketing strategies, but certainly you have seen their advertisements and their social media. I hope you're keeping up with that. So what is the difference between your brand and your competitor's brand? Where do they fall short? Are you able to provide what they're missing. What would your customers get from you that is unique to your business? What makes your brand different? Is that difference something that matters to your target audience? How are you telling your customers, your target audience, about these differences? How are you communicating that? When you go fishing, you have to have certain tools to be able to fish, right? Everybody knows you got to have a rod, you got to have a reel, and uh, you got to have tackle, right? Well, those are tools that you use to catch fish. Well, in this case, whatever you're doing, your brochures, your signage, your websites, uh, car wraps, or whatever it may be, are, are these communications front and center to your target audience? Does your brand's attributes make you stand out from your competition? If not, they should be. There's a big old pond out there there's a lot of fish in the big pond so you need to be sure that you're ready it's good to look and see what your competition is doing i guarantee you they're looking at you that's why they call it competition right you never stop paying attention to what is happening around you we also know that sometimes fish get used to seeing the same bait so that's why we have to adapt that's why we have to evolve that's why we have to adjust our game plan I just ready for the weekend now, I'm ready to go fishing. But anyway, we, we learn from each other, uh, and, and if we do the work that's required, uh, we'll find our sweet spot, and that's where we wanna be. So that's what I've been thinking about over the last week. If you're having trouble identifying who your competition is, or what differentiates yourself from your competition, then reach out to me. If you don't have the right materials, right website, the right uh, collateral, uh, if you will, uh, brochures, car wraps, all this stuff, reach out to me. This is the type of things that we do every day at Reformation Productions. We um, do the same strategies that Fortune 500 companies use every day. So we can help you. Now, you've heard me say it before, that it's people before profit. And you matter to me and I'd like to hear from you. Uh, I'd like to grow our business relationship to where we can uh, network together. I, mean, I may know somebody that has what you need. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you got some great value out of this today. If you like this live, then be sure to click like and share if you will. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram, be sure to subscribe to the channel and um, hit share as well. So thank you all again for joining. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, I'll see you next week at Tuesdays at 222. Y'all take care. <laughs>